Welcome to Going Carnivore in Thailand. Here in the pool, just got done exercising, been out here about an hour and a half, almost two hours, I guess. Great, beautiful day, sun shining, birds chirping. It's just wonderful. This is the Songkran holiday here in Thailand. It's the second day of Songkran which is a crazy, crazy, crazy event that people love. And I guess if I was younger, I would love it too. But it looks so exhausting, especially in the bigger cities like Bangkok and Ceylon. Uh, you know, millions of people, I guess all crowded together with squirt guns and buckets full of water and just throwing water and squirting everybody that they can see. And this is supposedly their New Year celebration and it's also a time where Noi has done a lot of praying for safety and health and uh, she put up a shrine next to her motorcycle and the car and put lucky flowers on the car and on the motorcycle. And they have certain flowering trees, especially this yellow tree that's supposed to be a, a lucky flower. And uh, I admit, I don't understand it, but Noi's a big believer. She prays every day to this little Buddha shrine that she made up in our living room. And uh, it's part of what makes her such a good person. You know, it's, uh, it's part of the Thai culture here. You know, Buddhism is one of these religions that they don't care if you don't believe. They don't care if you're of a different religion. They don't care that you're not Buddhist. They're not trying to make you Buddhist. They don't care if you're an atheist. They're just happy to live and let live and to be a good soul. And you know, all the things that religion ought to do, but most of them don't. Uh, the only way Buddhism, I think, is similar to the other religions is, somehow or the other, the people who run the religion, in this case, the monks and the temples, extract a lot of money for the monks and the temples. The temples in Thailand are huge, plentiful, everywhere, and they're amazing in their architecture and the intricacies of their arch architecture. And the older they are, the more amazing they are. And they're just gorgeous. Now, monks are supposed to live a, quote, I guess, simple existence, and they do. But uh, they're given a lot more respect here than a priest is given in New York City, let me tell you. Uh, it's just... Songkran is just one of them holidays. It's it's sort of religious in nature in one way, and, and it's a big giant party in another way where everybody goes out and has a good time. Now, as far as carnivore, yesterday I had some uh, had some eggs, had some bacon, and at night I had some middle chicken wings air fried or maybe she fried them in a skillet I'm not exactly sure but they were delicious wasn't a lot of food but I wasn't hungry and that's the important part yesterday I weighed today I haven't so far yesterday I was down to 150 kilos which is about 55 pound loss of weight since I started in 81 days. Wow. I still have a long way to go. 
I need to lose another 60 kilos, which in round numbers is over 120 more pounds. And that would get me down to my absolute dream weight, which is gonna be hard. So maybe it's 50 kilos and, and I'll get stuck. I don't know. But I keep eating, I keep feeling good. Just tested my blood pressure this morning. Uh, noise blood pressure was a little, is a lot high. We gotta get something done about that. She needs to get her blood pressure down. She is eating a good carnivore diet and I expect the scale will stop lying to her soon because I was on for 14 or more days before she started. She saw the results in me and then she decided, okay, I'll do it with you. But we need to get her blood pressure down. Mine was 117 over 65, I think it was. 117 over maybe 75 or 65, I forgot. But it was excellent. I mean, just flat excellent. And uh, can't be any happier. So live your best life and be happy. That's all, folks.